Hello everyone and welcome to the online support tutorial for the shopping cart. In the shopping cart, you can perform many different operations and we're going to cover a few of these. You can access technical data and documents for the products selected or create templates and make inquiries or place orders based on them. You can add products to the shopping cart in all the selection tools in order to make an inquiry or place an order. As you see here, there are highlighted areas where you can do this. This means that you can, for example, select a part in the product configurator and add it to your shopping cart. We'll see an example of this. Once you've made the selection, you click on the icon for the shopping cart. And there it is in the shopping cart. You can access technical documentation, the CAD data, and technical data. And you can see the icons there as they highlight over them what they represent. You can also edit your product selection by clicking on the pencil icon. In addition, you can view a preview, enter reference data, or leave a comment. You click on the little down arrow there and you can see the three tabs for reference data, preview, and comments. Under Add Product, you can see an overview of all the applications available. So you can use these to add products to the shopping cart. You can better organize and identify your transactions by entering reference data. You can add an inquiry and order reference, a project reference, and other reference data here. The additional reference data can be specifics related to a certain area on the project. The reference data entered applies automatically to all items. At the item level, you can add additional item-specific or deviating reference data. Such as your material number or maybe you have a special smart number or a number that you use in your company to identify items. You need to log in to use all the shopping carts functions. You can quickly and easily create a CAD documentation package for all items. You can also save the selection as a template. And you can forward the transaction. You can also do an inquiry in order the products or make an inquiry by going to that button. Once you've received your quotation from that inquiry, you can use the transaction overview to select it. And add it to the shopping cart to place an order. When you go to the shopping cart, you see the reference data has been transferred to the shopping cart at the item level. And if necessary, you can overwrite the reference data for all items in the shopping cart. And you continue with the order, clicking on the order icon. 
In the next step, you can select the delivery address and enter your preferred delivery date. This is not a guaranteed date, this is your preferred delivery date. and then you click order now. A confirmation page appears and you receive a confirmation of receipt by email. Later on you will receive an order confirmation in the same way you usually do. So try this new function out for yourself and if you have any questions we're here to help you. Just go to the bottom right hand of the page and you'll see our contact information for the online support hotline. Thank you for your attention.